Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. So I've had my Rode Video Micro, the microphone that's on top of my camera, for many years now. And I really do love this microphone. It does a great job in not only picking up your voice, but it also does a great job in blocking out a lot of wind and background noise. However, over time, you know, as with most electronics, there's going to be wear and tear and it's actually going to have problems. So in this case, the problem that I'm having here is the actual plug or the wire that goes into the microphone from the mic jack. So uh, let me show you an example. I'm going to move the whole mic cable around and you'll hear so like some static. So you probably heard that. So this is something that does happen. Uh, I've had this happen with earphones as well. Over time, the wires just start wearing down to have problems and so in this case this is a easy fix because the microphone itself is still good so all I have to do is spend about $15 for another wire to replace this one and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and test this out without the microphone being plugged in so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, unplug it and now it's using the microphone directly from the camera and as you can probably tell there's a lot more noise but there is no static let me go ahead and plug this back in there and you might okay so it's plugged back in then if i move the wire around you can, you can hear it <laughs> all this crackling sound so hopefully uh buying the cable fixes this so that just shows you uh, what it sounds like you know whenever i move the actual cable around and also how it sounds like when i'm not using the microphone which is definitely not as good as when you are using it okay so i did get a replacement cable so it's going to take the place of my original cable that came with my microphone now one thing that's super important is you want to get the right cable so this is a male to male trs to trs cable meaning that this works with cameras there is another cable that actually goes to smartphones and tablets. So it's a TRS to TRSS. And so it's very important to get the right one. And this is about $10. And I will put a link to a similar cable that you could get on Amazon. Now, once you get this, it's really simple. Just go ahead and plug it into the microphone. And we're going to go ahead and do that now. And so the first thing I'm going to do before I use this replacement cable is to let you hear it with the existing cable. And I'm going to do the same thing that I did earlier. I'm going to move this cable around to see if you could hear the crackling and static. So, so hopefully you can hear that. So as I'm moving this cable around, you could hear it <laughs> clearly. And right now I do have headphones on uh, because my camera, the Sony a7 IV, it does have a headphone jack so I could monitor the sound. So now let's go ahead and plug in this replacement cable. I'm gonna go ahead and do this in real time so you can actually hear it. So I'm unplugging it. Just as you heard earlier, whenever I started this video, I am using the mic on the camera. And now I'm gonna go ahead and use the replacement cable. So here's the original cable. And then I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in. Okay, so now I have it plugged into my Rode Video microphone and it sounds really good. And let me go ahead and move the cable around. So you can't see it, but I'm moving it around. I'm twisting it. Absolutely no crackling sound, no static, which is exactly what I want. And so that right there shows you that if it's not the microphone, which hopefully it's not, then more than likely it is the cable and this is a really cheap fix. So that is it on today's video on how you could actually fix your problem if it is related to the cable. And this doesn't just apply to Rode video microphones. It could apply to practically any microphone that actually uses this whole headphone jack. So hopefully that helps some of you. And as I stated a little bit earlier, I will leave the link in the description area below to a similar cable that you can use as well. So if you actually had any thoughts on this, be sure to leave in the comments area below. And if you did want to see more of my geek gear reviews, I do have an entire playlist. I'll leave that description area below. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. And if you're a creative geek like me, and you want to get exclusive access to more content that I don't put out here publicly on my YouTube channel, then join my Goal Content Creators Group, where you're gonna get content like this and more for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check on the page, 
and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group.